better way to finish off than uh, two nights ago? Uh, you know what, we, uh, we, we spoke to the guys in, in, uh, after two periods. We talked about just you know, playing on our toes, playing with some energy and, and playing with some passion. I thought our guys did a really good job. And, you know, we strung about four or five shifts together and then we created a goal. So I like the way we, uh, we defended our building in the third period. I like the way we came with some energy and I thought it was one of our, our better periods in the third period because uh, we saw a lot of passion in our game and that's, uh, you know, I was trying to be real passionate behind the bench tonight and, and uh, you know, coach with some emotion and hopefully that would carry over the group and uh, I thought it did. You guys managed to bomb 47 shots, 48 shots on, on McIntyre, and, and uh, he only let up four of those. So just talk about the goaltending situation and what you guys did with shooting. Well, we tried to uh, create more shot, uh, more of a shot mentality. They played last night, so we wanted to jump on them early. And obviously getting the first goal is huge for us off a of face-off. And then, uh, you know, scoring it early in the first shift of uh, the second and third or third period is obviously huge. So, um, you know, McIntyre's a heck of a goaltender. He's played very well against us, and we wanted to try and generate the second chance opportunities. And, you know, I thought we did a better job of getting shots off, getting shots to that, and uh, guys got rewarded. How important was it to end the first period with a goal after all the shooting and all the chances you guys had in that period? It was huge. You know, uh, for us just to, you know, to get that first goal and, and, uh, uh, and get that momentum, kind of get that uh, uh, confidence in your building, you know, and, you know, for our home stand we, we have here, that's, uh, you know, seven out of eight points, and that's the direction we need to go in and try and get back above that playoff line. So y you have to win. You have to put points on the board, and, uh, you know, for us, you know, Charlotte uh, has played us very hard this year, and uh, we wanted to make sure that we got two points tonight. Remember the last time your goalie faced two penalty shots in a game? Yeah, it's pretty incredible. Give Juice credit. I thought he deserved that shutout. Uh, you definitely earned it, and uh, obviously I haven't seen that in a while, but um, it's, it's exciting for the fans. With, uh, with him tonight and just what, how he's played two nights ago, you said he stole the point for your guy, came in, played well again tonight. What's been kind of clicking for him? Well, he's playing right now. He's been uh, consistent for us, and I think his confidence is high. And uh, you know, if you look at his record, he's been a big part of where we are right now. So, uh, for us, uh, it's a chance to uh, you know you got to write a hot hot goalie. Um, but uh, you know, if you look at him, uh, he's been settled. He's you know, our team's playing confident in front of him, and you know, and tonight he obviously earned earned uh, earned his shutout. And uh, but you look at the second period when the game was two nothing, he made some pretty uh, great ace, uh, saves. You know, the one on LaRose there where he went in and hit the crossbar. So for him, uh, it was good for the win for him and uh, good for his confidence to build. Did a little bit of shifting up on the bottom six, got Brandon Truk on, on a different line. He had a goal tonight. Just talk about what he's bringing right now. You know, Truker is just, you know, he's a young kid finding his way in the league. And uh, I think he's starting to gain some confidence. And, uh, you know, with that line that was on there with Smitty and Strand, it was a young group. And they've got, they've got to bring some energy to our game. And so you try to, you know, with the penalties and power plays, they kind of get uh, pushed aside a little bit. But we really want to try and, and get them some quality icing. So you, you roll them hard the last four or five minutes of the game. But Truker's really taking a step. He's a big, strong kid that shoots the puck well. He's just finding his way, uh, thinking the game at this level, and kind of managing his game at this level. The play of Derek Gulag just scoring a couple goals, first time he's scored all year at home. And on top of that, he had an inspiration, too, with the sticker for a friend back home. Well, that's a great stat. I didn't even know that uh, he hadn't scored at home yet. So <laughs> hopefully that's a good sign of things. But uh, good for him. You know, he's been a. Uh, uh, a guy that's really stepped up for our hockey club this year. You know, he's a free agent player that came out of CIS school, and you know, he plays power play, penalty kill, and he, and he scored some big goals for us. And uh, I'm not sure about the sticker of his friend back home, but obviously, it, it's great to see a young player and uh, take something like that, and uh, you know, and go out and play the game, and not not uh, overthink it, but just kind of thrive on that motivation. So, uh, Huli's been a good pickup for us, and uh, he's been a big part of our team so far. Yeah, the penalties tonight seem to be especially in the third period, a lot of uh, uh, maybe questionable calls. You know what? It's, uh, that's hockey. It's, uh, it's entertaining for the fans. Fans got into it, and uh, I know a lot of fans will go home happy tonight with a win and uh, get a chance to uh, release some energy.